hello all now in this session we are going to work on links before that let me just answer few of the questions that you people have asked me that you are not able to register to users as i already told you we are going to access the ip address so if you are going to access the ip address the same ip address will be stored for both the users or multiple users so whenever you are logging in you will be able to logging in but whatever details that is been shown that will be showed only for the first user so as i told you when we host this website online that time you will understand why we were not able to do this so you don't have to worry if you are not getting that that is completely fine because we are working with only one user as of now later on we are going to work with multiple users once this website goes online only then we will be able to work with that and also some are facing difficulty in updating the cart for that i am going to keep one separate session fixing areas and inside that we are going to fix whatever errors you are getting and whatever messages i got based on that i will be keeping separate session and i will be providing you all the solutions so that it will be helpful for you okay now in this we are going to work with links now first i am inside index.php and inside this we are having all these things we are having home page when i click on home page i am redirected to index.php file okay it is working completely fine when i click on this products it is getting displayed here again i'll come to home page now inside this when i click on this register i am not redirected to registration page so for that we are going to add proper links if we add this proper links only then it will look completely professional or else it will not look good at all so first we are going to work on links after that we we'll, we are going to work on this session whichever user is logged in that user name should be displayed here okay first let me just add here registration inside index.php you can see here i am having products now here i am having register i'll just remove this one and instead of this i have to come inside users area i'll come inside this one users area inside that i am having this user registration you can see i am having user registration let me just write here user user registration dot php i'll save this now i'll refresh this one now when i click on this register you can see i am redirected to users area inside that i am having user registration dot php okay we are done with this contact page we are not going to see as of now contact page will be working on second category and this cart is working completely fine as soon as i click on cart i am redirected to cart and also this total price is working completely fine okay inside this home page and when i click on this login i am redirected to login page and when i click on this register page i am redirected to registration page okay rest everything is working fine now i'll come to products page now inside this okay this is display all dot php file inside this i'm having all this links now when i click on home page i am redirected to home page again i'll come to products and inside this when i click on products i am redirected to display all dot php and inside this products if you don't want to display this particular session because we are already inside this product session if you don't want to display then you can remove this one or else you can just keep as it is then next i'm having registration you can see it is not working i am not redirected to registration page so i'll just copy the same path from here and inside product details or uh, display all dot php i'm just going to paste that one here i'll be pasting that i'll save this now i'll refresh this one now when i click on register you can see i'm redirected to registration page and contact page we are not going to work now when i click on cart you can see i'm not redirected to cart.php i'll come here now inside this you can see here i'm having this cart and inside this href i just have to give this cart page my cart page is present inside home.php itself so here i'll just give cart.php i'll save now i'll refresh this one now when i click on cart you can see i'm redirected to cart.php okay rest everything is working fine and also when i click on login i am redirected to login now i'll just come to cart page now inside this i'm having this home page when i click on home page i am redirected to index.php when i click on products page i am redirected to display all.php again i'll come to cart when i click on register you can see i'm not getting redirected so again i'll just come here inside cart.php here i'm having this registration button i'll just come on top i'll just paste that one here i'll save this i'll refresh this one now when i click on register i am redirected to registration page now when i click on login you can see i'm not getting redirected so i'll just come down here also i'm just going to paste that one and instead of registration i'll just write here user login i'll save this 
now i'll refresh this one now when i click on this login okay i'm redirected to login page now all the links are working completely fine next we are going to work on this welcome guest session okay whichever user is getting logged in that username should be displayed and once the user is logged in instead of this login button we just need here log out button okay next we are going to work on that and also if you want to add some more stylings like if you want the footer down you can add based on your stylings based on your requirement whatever stylings you want you can add the main reason in making this project is to understand the php concept so i have not focused much on css part later when i put one separate video on fixing the areas inside that we are going to work on all these things so you don't have to worry if you are not understanding the styling part you just focus on the php part once you understand this php part then in whichever website you want to apply this concept you can apply and you can get the result i'll come to home page now everything is working fine i can search the products i'll click on search now i'm getting this apple brands is working category is also working okay based on this i'll be getting this one and if you notice here i'm getting this horizontal scroll bar now i don't need this one so what i'm going to do i'll just come to index.php file okay you can okay we have already created style sheet if you want you can add here as well let me just write here overflow overflow x to be hidden okay this we have already added inside user login.php you can see i have added here internal styling as i told you my external styling was not working so i have just added the styling inside internal styling in external styling itself it is working for you then you can leave as it is or you can just add here internal stylings now i'll refresh this one okay now you can see here it is not working for me so what i'm going to do i'll just come to style.css i'll just remove from here and from user login.php i'll just copy this internal styling and inside index.php below this external styling i'm just going to paste this one okay sometimes it happens because of cache or something so you don't have to worry if it's not working you can definitely give internal stylings if you are having only one and two lines of code now i'll come here now i'll refresh this one now you can see that has gone now here if you notice here below footer i'm having some spacing so i'll just inspect this one now what i'm going to do i'm just going to refresh once now once i refresh it will be fixed i'll just close this now you can see it is completely fixed and here i'm having proper output again i'll come to home page now this scroll bar has gone and previously also we have written this one inside user login.php so that i will not be getting the scroll bar okay only x axis i'm just going to hide if i hide y axis then i will not be getting this vertical scroll bar so i have just hidden only on x axis okay we are done with link section next we are going to work on this welcome guest and welcome login session after that we are going to work with user dashboard page